Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, so welcome to another video on AHK and VBA integration. So in this video, I am going to show you how to run AHK from VBA. Okay. So basically for this, you need to watch this video that VBA integration find any application path and in that particular video i make this particular function that get app path so you can pass the app name and then it will find the paths for that particular app okay so like if i just try to run this that let's see, this one get application path then it's saying that c program file auto keys and then auto key.exe so this particular function is implemented in this video so you need to watch this video i'll put this video in icard so you can watch this now i have this app path now i need to run this particular hk file using this particular exe okay so let's say i want to run this what is string dot ahk using this auto hotkey dot exe so for that i need to I need to just use like this okay that cell and then you can just pass this ahk exe path that means this get app path so you need to get this exe path and then you need to pass this file path but in quotes okay so like double quotes and then file path so it, it in this one i think this is in my desktop so i'll just put desktop so that is what is string.hk so properties so this and then slash and then what is string dot hk now and i need to close this course extra yeah now in this tray icon you can see i have four hk running as abbreviation smell utilities and github so now if i run this one i'll get another one final form that's that okay next up let me check the name of this file or this string dot hk copy this okay let's try this again cell command that is this enter part let's see Let's try this now. So this cell command. So C program files auto.p.exe C user is desktop auto string dot hk. It seems correct. Let's see. Hmm. File not found. That's interesting. I am missing one space on this one. I need to put one space like this, but this space should be outside of this. Okay, now it should work. Let's see. In this Excel script. Yeah, now if I run this one, then in this tree icon, you'll find that I have. I step not present on this tray icon. Let's see if I do have tray icon. No or not. No, this is this is correct. 
let's try this yeah so I have five now so one is this age and this one is that what string okay so like if I write this prf invalid in immediate pen that means I need to put this in this one prf like this so basically this is how you need to run this ahk and as you can see this is a little bit pain you need to put a space you need to put codes you need to put the file path find the exe path and so on so that's why i have extracted those code into one specific function that run ahk script you can pass the ahk file path and you can pass the ahk exe path that is optional if you pass then it will use that one if you don't pass then it will use this get app path and find the ahk exe path and then it will run this so if i want to run use it this way i would just say run ahk script and then i'll just pass this ahk file path that means this one I'll put this comment. So I'll close this exit. Yeah, so that hot string is not running anymore. Now, if I run this one using this way, so it runs, and I think this is the hot string. So it's running. Okay, so this is how you can run HK script. Okay, so just use run HK script the file path and if you wants to stop hk script okay so if you wants to use you know stop hk script you need to use task kill pid oh, one more thing that this run hk script written on a pid this pid means process identification number so for this pid as string and then use pid so to this i need to put brackets like this just dp debug dot print and then pid now let me just close this one now if i run this again so you can see that the pid number is 4912 okay now about this stop ahk i do have stop hk script so you need to use task scale and then slash pid so why am I using PID? Because the PID is a unique identification number. Okay, so you can just kill only one specific AHK script instead of closing all AHK script. Okay, like if I just say okay, task kill and then auto hotkey.exe, then it will close all the auto hotkey script. But I don't want that. I want to close my specific or AHK file. So that's why I am using PID. And if you see in this one so here is an example task kill and then slash and then pid you can give the pid number and it will close that particular task okay so that's why i'm using task kill slash pid and then you can just pass these pid numbers okay so like you know, pid i'll just again see pid as i have as a string so it will just write that hk script okay now spid you can just round this one as well let's see now if i run this one that is stop hk so i can just say stop hk script and then pid that is this pid number okay. one and one two for testing but you don't know See so, yeah, that it will be always for nine wants to eight chains, okay? So that's why I was using some range to show that PID number so that if module level variable get restored, you know, just like if I just reset this, like using this, then it doesn't remove. So that's why I was using sales to store that PID number based on sometime later. If I run this one, this is that new PID number to fill this particular window. Okay, now if I go into this, you can see that there is no hot string dot 
while running like let's say if i run this again so i get different number 4908 so i need to use 4908 to kill this one now if i close this one it will close that one so it's closing that specific AHK script instead of closing what so this is how you can close this uh, AHK running script now i do have one if you look at this stop AHK script and load AHK script so this will stop all AHK script all those two AHK script that is related to my admin okay this global level like doesn't is, uh, depend on excel it's windows start folder so windows start them and if i you know shut down my pc then it will close that now i can load this hk script again so sometimes i need to edit my hk script and then i need to reload it again so that's why i created those two okay so abbreviation and my load if it is added now what's the use case that that is the main point of this video so what's the use case so in this particular file like in this my personal add-in i have two hk script okay and every time my add-in opens or my add-in loads then it will install those add-in it will run those hk script now like you can see that whenever i install add-in reload add-in so reload add-in just doing this hk script dot load add-ins hk script so it's just running those hk script and whenever my workbook close or adding close or uninstall then it will just stop those hk script okay so like you can see that workbook and before close so hk script dot stop hk script and so on okay so what does it help that whenever my add-in opens those hk script runs automatically and then I get the what is string you know, shortcut automatically when I open this video window. So I don't need to manually run those HK script. I can just get those running whenever my add-in opens or you know, install. So you can just put that code workbook open event that load this HK script and when you close the workbook, just stop those. So that's the use case of this running HK script and stopping hk script so that's all for this video if you have any question or suggestion feel free to comment thank you have a good day